Hey everyone, welcome to another workout. So here it is, my arm workout. Whenever I'm in the gym, whichever gym I work out at or the gym that I work at, there's always someone that asks me about what do I do for bigger arms. If you would do a questionnaire or a poll on what body parts guys work out the most, it would probably be arms. So I decided to do this video to answer the question most guys ask me and what do I do for arms. So what do I do for arms as of today? Or when I do arms, I train arms maybe once a week, sometimes <laughs> once every two weeks. So it's not really a big priority for me because arms have always been pretty easy. So I'll start arms off with a pull down movement and at the gym that I work out at every now and then um, here at in Chula Vista they have a free motion um, pull down machine and what I do with this free motion pull down is because you can move the handles around I turn the handles in so I, I turn my palms in towards my ears that way it's like you're doing a double bicep shot in bodybuilding or a rear double bicep shot and it's a really good warm-up for the biceps as well as it's gonna work your back muscles and who, all, who doesn't always want a big back muscle right so I'll do two, maybe three sets of those for like 10, 12 reps, maybe 15 reps. And then I'll do these um, shoulder presses. Now what you guys don't see here with the free motion shoulder press is I also supersetted it with um, the machine to my right, the free motion chest press. But I we didn't get a chance to videotape it because me and my workout partner were supersetting. So I apologize for that same thing on here so these are these compound movements are good warm-ups this one is pushing so guess what that's going to work on it's going to work on your triceps and warm up the triceps for the isolation work so again we'll do two maybe three sets of like higher reps anywhere from like 10 to 15 reps and then we move on to the specializer isolation movement so my first isolation movement for arms Isolation movements are like single joint movements and with arms a single joint movement is, is going to be just where the elbow is. A compound movement like those shoulder presses are, is working through the shoulder joint and your elbow joint and that's me trying to dance. They are pretty bumping with the music tonight and it was pretty late so we can be like it wouldn't be that crowded. So I might have to mute the music that's on here so I don't get any copyright violations. We'll see. And um, okay, so here we go. We start off with um, preacher curls. Now with preacher curls, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off with the reverse grip. I'm gonna grab the inside grips to where when you lift it towards your face, it'll look like a letter M. The bar will. Now I prefer a curl bar versus a straight bar because it's easier on your wrist, it won't hurt your wrist or aggravate your wrist if your um, wrist joint is kind of like it gets hurt or it feels you feel discomfort in your wrist, use the curl bar instead of a straight bar. So again I'm doing anywhere from like 10 to 12 reps on these, sometimes 8 I might, if I feel like going heavier. So the reverse grip will work on your forearm extensors and then your short head of your bicep. You have two heads in your bicep, you know, by meaning two. You have the short head, which is your brachialis, and then you have your long head, which is your bicep brachii. And now we're doing with your regular grip, so guess what that works on? It's working on the long head and also your forearm flexors. So you want to make sure you come all the way down and then so stretch at the bottom and then really flex and squeeze at the top and again we're, I'm, I'll do two sometimes three sometimes four just depending on how tired or how fresh I feel and here I am um, messing around on the camera on my last set kissing my bicep and so after the preacher curl with the bar that's a what we call a bilateral movement because your arms are holding on to the bar so one arm might be working harder for the other arm 
I will do a unilateral movement, and this is a um, seated dumbbell curls with a twist, or what my clients affectionately call the inner dumbbell curls. So, you notice when I curl up, I bring my palms up and try to turn my pinky in, and then when I come down, I turn my um, palms down so that I'm working each head of the bicep, the outside head and the inner head. And also I'm working both parts of the forearms, the extensors and the flexors. And again, two to three sets, 10 to 12 reps. So here we're finishing off with push downs with the reverse grip and a regular grip. Now, uh, sometimes I might do um, a reverse grip bench press before these or I might do a dumbbell overhead tricep extension single one arm at a time after these. Today I was kind of tired so I just did these the push downs. But like I said I did more uh, of the compound movements, the pushing movements in the beginning with the compound movements, the shoulder press and the chest press with the cable, the free motion. So my triceps were already pretty tired so I just went straight to these afterwards after the bicep movements so reverse and grip and then a regular grip the reverse grip will work on your tricep belly you have three heads your, your inner head your long head the medium and then you have the outside head which which forms the horseshoe the outside of the horseshoe so the first movement with the reverse grip will work on the inner and medium head and then this movement will focus on the outside head of the tricep. So that's it for arms. So if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below and I will try to do another arm workout later on in you know one of my best arm workouts for clients. So we'll see you again pretty soon. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.